Okay, year 11, um, IB. Uh, let's, let's continue now with our trigonometry. As you know, I'm away on camp this week, so I'm going to be uh, recording a few of these YouTubes and, um, and trying to, trying to, I guess, uh, teach my remote control through the week. But if you have any any questions, any issues that, that don't get covered in class, uh, please feel free to, to email me. I will be checking emails while I'm away, and um, I'll, I'll be more than happy to help out. Um, all right, so going back to so, to Friday's work, um, and this is it really. It was it was um, it was looking at angles as we took them beyond uh, the first, second quadrant into third, fourth, and beyond. We also looked at negative angles, um, and to, just to recap, we we had two uh, two things to establish really when we were looking to uh, calculate um, particularly exact values of, of uh, sine, cos or tan of angles that were outside uh, the first quadrant. Because if they're in the first quadrant, it's not hard. There, it's, we know it's going to be positive. Um, and if it's 30, 45, 60, we know what the exact value for that is. Uh, it was really angles beyond the first quadrant. And, um, and this little diagram here is, is a nice little summary in that um, if, if our angle is is x in the first quadrant, um, or, or if you like, actually, um, our angles that are in the second, third, fourth quadrant can be related back to the angle in the first quadrant by just applying the um, what's in the green box. So if we were if we were looking at an angle of uh, say 210 degrees, uh, that's in the third quadrant, which makes this angle x 30 degrees. So its equivalent angle in the first quadrant is 30. Um, and if it was tan to tan, um, tan is positive in this quadrant. So it would have the equivalent value of tan 30 degrees. So our, our two things, two, two points to establish were that, um, so when finding trig values, of any magnitude, uh, I guess what we need to do is uh, one, establish whether uh, the trig value is positive or negative in that quadrant. So I guess the uh, first thing to do is establish which quadrant you're in, um, but then then work out whether it's positive or negative in that quadrant using the uh, all stations to central mnemonic. Um, and two, establish whether the trick value is positive or negative in that quadrant. And two, find the equivalent acute angle. For the angle given, uh, and then three is um, evaluate. Uh, three evaluate. So um, let's do let's do another couple of questions just to just to test our knowledge out here. So I said a moment ago, uh, tan two hundred and ten. So these are some examples. Tan to ten. All right, well, that's equal to, it's 10, it's, sorry, 210, one, uh, 180 goes to here, so it's in this quadrant, it's in the third quadrant, 10 is positive there, so it's going to equal uh, positive 10. Uh, now we just need to work out what the acute angle, the equivalent acute angle for the 210 is. Well, we can apply this 180 plus x. x is 30 for 210, so it's, um, the equivalent acute angle is 30, so it's positive 10, 30. 10, 10 to 10 is equal to 10, 30. Um, we should get used to drawing our two triangles up that give us all our exact values. Remember the 1, 1, root 2 triangle that gets us the 45 degree results and the half uh, equilateral triangle, remember this goes off like this, 
Uh, we've got 60 here, 30 here because it's been chopped down the middle, root 3 there. So 10 to 30, uh, we can go over here and we can see that that's 1 over root 3. Um, if we get a bit tricky and go, uh, let's say minus, um, let's say minus, uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, about 120 degrees. So for that one, we're going to go. So a negative angles go the, the opposite way. So they go around this way. So that's 90. 120 is in here somewhere, which gives us an angle of 60 in there. That's the that's the important one um, because that is the angle that gets put back across here and here into the first quadrant. So it will equal, we're in this sine of minus 120, gets us into this quadrant here. All stations 2, it's 10 positive here, so sine's negative. So this is going to equal minus sine, and the acute angle equivalent is 60. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2, so it's minus root 3 over 2 for sine minus 120. Um, let's do one more, let's do cos of, um, uh, let's do cos of uh, 315 degrees, so let's see where 315 is, we're in this quadrant here, all stations to central, central cos is positive, so it's going to equal positive cos uh, 315, in this quadrant it's 360 minus x, so x must be equal to 45 degrees, so it'll equal cos 45, which is 1 over root 2. Okay, so uh, that's a bit of a recap of on what we were doing. Um, and hopefully that's nice and clear now. Uh, and there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a method and a process by which we can get these results. Um, uh, let's have a look at perhaps one other type of question. Um, if, uh, let's say, and this, I know this one comes up in the exercises a bit, so I'll just, I'll just ask it here. If we put a circle in place and uh, we put a, um, a 40 degree angle out here, then what are the coordinates of the point A there? So the coordinates of the point A, if theta is 40 degrees, will be... Um, cos 40, sine 40, so we just go to our calculator and we find out uh, what cos 40 is, and we can put that into oh, cos 40, um, 0.766, so that would be 0.766, and sine 40 will calculate uh, to be sine 40, enter, so that's 0 0.643, 0 0.643. So we can find out the, uh, the coordinates that way. Let's do one more. Um, if, the, if the angle here is... Um, so that angle there is, uh, what's that, 250 degrees, then find out the coordinates of point B. Uh, well, we know it's going to be cos 250, sine 250. And we can work out using, again, our calculators, uh, cos 250 and sine 250. Um, trick, trick button, uh, cos... 250 minus 0 0.342, which looks minus 0 0.342, which looks absolutely spot on. Negative, expecting a negative y value as well for sine 250. Um, trig sine 250 uh, minus 9.3, uh, sorry. Minus 0 0.940. Minus 0 0.940.
with VR2 coordinates there. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'd like you to be doing uh, work requirements, please, for Monday um, out of exercise 11D and exercise 11E. Check back in for another YouTube that will take us through the next section, which includes a sign rule um, for Tuesday's work. Okay, have a good day, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.